Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a really long time and I just wanted to post this video because I think around a month ago I had my third channel anniversary and so as a celebration I wanted to recreate my first ever drawing that I posted on YouTube. I've recreated this once before and here were what the two first ones look like. The first one is on the left and the second one's on the right. And I just wanted to update this and kind of just show how I've improved and I tried to update like my color theory and just my style and everything. Also, I'd like to just talk about some things that have changed over the past month since I haven't posted in quite a long time. The reason why I haven't posted is because I just started school again and I've just been so busy learning everything and just being like getting used to the environment of school again and I've just had so much homework and I've just really not been in the mood to draw and or post but it kind of sucked because I was in this really major art block for quite a while but I just started drawing again and I figured it would be nice if I could post a video. We just hit 1.3k and that's just so amazing. Thank you so much guys. You're seriously so amazing and the only re like the reason I do this and I'm motivated to post is because of you guys. You guys are just very nice and I love the community I'm in. I think one of the major reasons that I've been in such a bad art block is because I just wasn't really in love with my style as much. I kept comparing it to a lot of other people's styles and that's just not very good. Like, it's almost like on Instagram when you compare your body to someone else's and that just doesn't make you feel very good. It's like that but with art styles and it's a real thing and it doesn't make you feel great. But one thing that has helped is my art class. Um, if you've seen my community post, I kind of posted some art pictures but here's some more that I've done in art class. And it's just really helped me realize that I do like art and it feels good to draw. So another thing when drawing this, I realized the second drawing and first drawing I did really didn't have hands. They really were just like circles and I really wanted to make a better pose and like, you know, just add in hands somehow. I don't know if I actually added in hands, but I just made a better pose so it overall looked better. I also tried to make the ponytail look a bit more natural since the hairline on the second drawing was just kind of a flat line and it wasn't very blended out well. I think the reasoning behind this first drawing that I've done, like the reason why I posted this was because I'm a big basketball player and I love basketball so I drew it and I remember posting it and like all this stuff and my best friend's dad came up to me and he watched it because my best friend showed him. And he's like, oh my goodness, this is so amazing. You're going to go places. And looking back at that video, it was so bad. And then I remember my friend's brother coming up to me and being like, why are the eyebrows triangles? And I'm like, they're not triangles. They're fine. The first drawing overall was just not very developed and not very great. But then again, it was maybe my third drawing ever digitally. So, I mean, it, it was it was okay. <laughs> I also remember keeping my channel like a secret. It was total secret and I wouldn't tell anyone except like my best friends. And then like a year ago, maybe like this year-ish, so many people have figured it out because it's just spread. Especially after I won this like national award, then everybody figured out about it. And so um, then it uh, kind of went downhill from there and some of my teachers have played my videos in class in front of kids and it made me want to jump off a bridge. Just kidding, I actually don't wanna do that. Don't take that seriously. And I also remember my channel was actually gonna be me and my best friend's channel, and we were gonna do like, it was basically sis versus bro, like the sis versus bro channel, but just imagine like friends, and we were gonna do this. So I had the whole thing planned out, and then I realized we like, didn't want to do it anymore so I was like hey I want to make an art channel can I just use this email and stuff so now my email is like my friend's email and all this stuff so it's super awkward so I had to like make a whole new email and all this but I would never make a new account because I have honestly gained quite a bit of subs and I honestly love posting and it makes me very happy so the next thing I wanted to talk about is just some tips of how I've started to get out of art block I'm still kind of in it but just some things that have helped a bit. So the first thing I did was experiment with different styles. So I kind of opened up my sketchbook and kind of just drew in a whole bunch of different styles and figured out what I really want in my style. Did I want something 
that I already had in my style or did I want something entirely new? And as it turns out, I liked a couple things in my style, but then again, I wanted to change a couple things. So I started to change some things and just keep drawing in different styles until I really figured out what exactly I wanted. So another thing I did, this is the first time I picked up my iPad and drew for like maybe a month. What I did was I found a study, like I found a piece of realism and started drawing it. Because when drawing realism, even if you may not like it, first off it's helpful because it teaches you how to render, it teaches you all this stuff. It's also helpful because it's not stylized, so you don't have to worry like, no, I, w I don't want it to look like this, I want it to look like something else, or somebody could have done this in a different style and I like somebody else's style better. No, it's not like that. Realism is just your, like, it's just recreating an image. So it just has to look like the image, and you don't have to worry about styles or anything, and overall it just helped me because I could work on rendering and I could work on some other things. Like, it just, it just was really nice. I did two studies, and it was just very nice to do very relaxing and then the last thing i did was try to draw just in my style and just try to complete a whole piece i'm still in the means of this but i've been liking how it turns out and i've just been kind of experimenting trying to get back into why i love art and all of that jazz but soon once i get into the like uh daily schedule of school just into like the routine of it then I think I should be able to um I think I should be able to post more and hopefully post on weekends especially it might not be three times a week it might just be one time a week or maybe one time in like two weeks but honestly this drawing I was really really proud of I was so proud of the colors because I know that green and orange just looks so good together it was the perfect opportunity to work on some color theory since that's one of my biggest downfalls of art. That's one of the things I'm not very good at and I'm trying to improve. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Here's the end result. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!